Peace to the family. It should work out today. Peace to the family. That's the new book right there. Let's go. I'm excited to see you guys. Take a sippy. Whoa. And let's get it in. That is a new book. Hit you with an early afternoon joint because I got moves to make. Stocks to invest in. <clears throat> so let's talk. I know it's the afternoon. But let's really get a chance to connect. Let's really get a chance to connect. All right? So right now, I have the cash is king, credit is queen. Make sure you go out your way to save this video, to save some lives. Because while everybody's out there buying disinfectants, buying a whole bunch of toilet papers, People are making millions right beneath the very nose that you're not even using that tissue for. Okay? So I want you to really focus. Within the last 24 to 36 hours, within the last 24 to 36 hours, several people became millionaires or even $100,000 nares. If there's even a word, let's make it manifest because it's happening right now. And the problem with this is we're doing social distancing and you should have employed social distancing since time immemorial from the moment you realized you wasn't properly educated because you cannot rely on the public school system to give you this information. You should have been distancing yourself from people who will not be able to educate you about these types of matters. By the time you find out even remotely close to what you have missed and may miss because you still have time. There's a window of time. It may be too late because it's always late. But like I tell my students, I say, our parents missed the wave. We wasn't born into inherited wealth. They wasn't that verse. And I got it. All things considering, our parents Parents, parents were educated by people who formerly lived on a slave plantation. So how much could we actually expect? We only went through 1,100 years plus through the trans-sub-Saharan slave trade, the trans-sub-Saharan slave trade, 1,100 years only to compound interest when the white man comes with a better working business model for slavery, and then he abducts us, takes us off our Arab imperialist hands, and colonizes us for another near 500 years. So after 2,000 years of being in bondage, involuntary servitude, subjugation, mass repression, being colonized, we've only been free technically for about 70, 80 years. I know you want to go into the Emancipation Proclamation in 1865 for some of y'all will walk with me because that was a business move by Abraham Lincoln. It was a socio-political and socio-economical move. We've only been free technically for 70 to 80 years. So I get it. Most of us are not going to understand what's going on. You can't rely on a public school system. You cannot rely on a public school system erected by your oppressors to teach you how to compete with their children, with their progeny, with their legacy, with their posterity. How realistic is that? And people say, your black need credentials from the institutions that were erected by the people who will ensure that your children will not be able to compete with their children. How far do we go with that information? At some point or the other, you're going to have to realize you're going to have to be autodidactic. You're going to have to learn outside the auspice or the halls or the forums of the educational institutions. I'm not saying they don't have good information to offer. I'm telling you that you can't be exclusive to them. You can't just be in an intimate relationship with the Board of Education. 
because you'll always be left out the conversation. Because we can look at the statistics of people that are unemployed right now who went the full duration of school. I'm talking high school into college. And they can't ask with me right now. I'm making more money than, I, I can't say every teacher that ever taught me, but I know I'm making more money than the average teacher because I can look up the average teacher's income. And I know I made that already between last week and this week. Because America Online was only $10.30 a share last week. It was a no-brainer. I've never been privy to an opportunity to buy shares in a staple such as America Airlines. You know why it's a staple? We used to go to school. And I'm going to talk about this in another class. When we used to go to school, we used to have current events, right? Remember, we used to have to cut out newspaper articles, get the glue or tape it, and then write the who, what, when, where, why on the paper. Our children don't even do that. And even when we did it, we didn't know what point it could serve. Now today, outside of school, I realize how important it was to watch the news. But not to just know what's going on in the world, to know how to invest. Because American Airlines, amongst many other airlines, with, oh, not amongst many other airlines, they're still working because they don't just transport people, they transport cargo. And then, something major happened with the oil companies. And I'm going ahead of time, but I just want you to know, that they are in a position where they won't have to pay oil to fill up their tanks to fly. So even if they're losing some time in this economy, the recompense is there because they won't have to pay for oil. So what does that tell me? That the QE, the quantitative ease, isn't even in the stimulus package to release a bunch of monies to save small businesses and bigger businesses alike isn't even in yet. And if America Online is responsible for picking up the people who land in Miami, because they have a company, America, I, I'm going too far, but Miami's important, but they drop the people off, the people stay in hotels, the people that stay in the hotels for their holdover, they go on the cruises. So for me, it's not a coincidence when I see a domino effect of different industries fall at the same time and rise at the same time because of current events. But when I was in school and I was doing current events, I had no freaking clue why I was even doing it in the first place. Why I need to pay attention to all these businesses in the first place? I'm not invested in it. So we knew we had no reason to do this because we had no emotional or financial investment in it, so we pass it off as just a waste of time. Let's just, I can do this on the way to school. They didn't even tell us what to look for. Because the BS articles that we was looking for, it wasn't relevant. But when the information is relevant, you can't stop looking for this information. If you invest your money somewhere, trust me, and there's data out there corresponding with your investment, you won't be able to put down your phone. People all over are on Instagram for hours. I'm on the Dow Jones. I'm on the s and I'm on Fidelity. I spend, when you, yo, I can't get off my damn phone. Yo, we up. I think they going down. I'm about to put a put option over there. What's the risk price? It's a bull market. Buy on the rumors. Sell on the news. By the time the news gets to you, it's too late. These are all different <clears throat> types of verbiage that we should be in tune with. Buy into the sector, not the individual. Get the ETFs. Oh, you don't want to roll the dice on the individual, American Airlines? Do you believe that airline industry will do good? Do you believe maybe not just General Motors, maybe not just Ford? But do you believe the car industry, the motor vehicle industry, is going to do good? Then you roll your dice on the whole industry. So you don't have to invest in the individual. You can invest in the sector. 
and make that much more of your money because now, even if some of them are not doing good, the industry itself is doing good, you win. ETS. What's up? Somebody said, thanks. <clears throat> they bought the 10 shares when it was 1040 for American Airlines, and then they now it's up 16. Up 16. And it went as high as 17 today. And, and if you bought Royal Caribbean at $21 last week, Royal Caribbean is at $42 right now. That means you doubled your money. If you put that money in the bank, what would it have done for you? Nothing. The reason why I want to say this to you before I go into this, because you got Negroes out there who always know it all when I know it. They don't know it all before I let you know I know it. They know it all when they find out I know it. So let me say this. Yo, you know, man, you telling the poor people to put their money in stuff, that don't do nothing for you. Yo, invest in black businesses. <laughs> Yo, shut the hell up. That's a conversation for a different day. But how many black businesses do you see up there? There's a way we can get into the conversation to do that. But when we talk in the money talk, don't cut me off if you don't even have no understanding of this genre of information in the first place. Get the knowledge first, then find a way to integrate us into the information. There's a time and a place for it. Real talk. I fuck around put money in Burger King because they give you a great deal of money per the dividends, that's when the company gives you some of their returns and you're able to use it to be reallocated back into the very stock that gave them the warrant to give you that money. I invest in the company, the company invests in me because I invest in them. But why Burger King, ain't you vegan? Well, I'll tell you this. Meat eaters go to Burger King all the time. And they just give their money to Burger King. The vegan gives their money to invest in Burger King, and Burger King pays me out. I create an income. Burger King is paying me more than they paying their freaking workers' checks. Think about it. I create an income. And I'm getting bigger checks from Burger King than Burger King is giving to their own customers. Then they give it to their own clients. So the customer walks in and buys a burger. Yo, I don't like that, but guess what? I'll take that same money I'm giving for Burger King and erect a, a vegan restaurant, put their ass out of business one day. That's how this market works. You guys wanted to take down Gucci and didn't have enough knowledge to know, yo, find out the ticket symbol or the stock symbol for Gucci. Then you're going to find out they don't have one because they're owned by a parent company that owns several other companies. You want to boycott Gucci and then wear Balenciaga. You want to boycott Gucci and then wear St. Laurent, not knowing that they're all under the same goddamn stock. They're all under the same company, pardon me. Carry. And what you're going to do is the very opposite of what they trained you to do, which was put your money in there. But that's for another time. You could have put your money in Karen. And have a say over Gucci because now we have spending power. We could have started owning portions of Gucci. How about that? And I'll show you the history that when the complaints came in about Gucci, did the stock go down or go up? The stock went down lower during this time than it did with that whole debacle with the blackface. You would think it, it had its record low with us. But all we did was promote to other white people and who make up the majority of Gucci's patrons and give them the drive to say, you know what? They support my racist ideals. Let me get them. Because most black people don't even buy freaking Gucci in the first place. We only make 14% of America's populace, 327 million people. First of all, and you Negro said, let's do a three-month boycott. But this is another conversation for another time. Actually, my next video <laughs> going to be powerful. Just give you insight on it. What's our number count right now? I don't be doing no afternoon stuff. 844. <clears throat> Not bad. Welcome to that. Welcome to the afternoon crowd. Because I know I'm always on the, on the prime time. <laughs> you know, we, we normally do prime time. Welcome to you guys. 
I would traditionally wait to the first thousand, but let's go. So get this cash is king, credit is queen. You'll never read anything like this in your life. Giving up so much damn jewels. How to deal with Lexus Nexus, check systems, 609 letters. The so-called apology letters or apology agreement that you do with the student loan. Ain't nobody rocking with me with this. Oh, and you're gonna see some more testimonials <laughs> of us removing a hundred thousand dollars in debt. Fifty thousand dollars in debt. That's why we have that credit restoration microwave. And they say, brother, polite, but it's three thousand dollars for the credit restoration microwave. So then take the two hundred and fifty dollar course. I'm gonna have all the updated templates and everything in there as well. But brother, polite. Yo, listen to me, listen to me carefully. <laughs> listen to me, and listen to me carefully. This is very important. Not only are we removing tens of thousands of dollars or even six figures, then we're adding value to you, because by the time we're done, you're going to be able to access six figures at some point or the other, one way or the other is what I mean to say. Whether you're pulling equity out of the property that now you have an advantage you get to, because remember, the housing market went from 15.36 down to less than three, which means you could do a refi, a refinance win. And, and, and way less time than the six months duration you can pull out the equity, and that's why I wrote pennies off of millionaires and houses on the new credit cards. I really need to get back into that conversation. Pennies off of millionaires and houses on the new credit cards. That book was written years ago. And now today, many people call me appreciating what kind of value I've added on to them. So yeah, three thousand dollars to do what? Three thousand dollars to remove twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars. Do you know how many people became millionaires yesterday and today? That if you have your credit fixed and we whipping it up inside of two to three weeks, then you get approved for a line of credit, and then do what? Boom. Yo, let me put five thousand dollars there. It's not going to affect me because I got over hundred grand at my disposal. Maybe between credit cards, personal loans, and business loans, or a combination of only two or only one. You put it in the market because you're educated enough to make an informed decision or a common sense decision. You ain't have to know shit last Friday to know I should just buy and do whatever the hell I do. I bought at closing. Because I was buying Royal Caribbean and everything, and I realized, oh shit, America Airlines? America Airlines? Yo! Yo, what's in the account? Yo, have Baby Girl's account loaded. Get the old watch together. Everybody buy. Everybody buys. Ain't one. You holding the camera right now. I'm, I'm in that over here working the projector. Oh, we, we were buying. You ain't even have to know much to know. Looking at them all time lows, just buy. It, okay, if it goes $2 over, I'm not going to bitch. Because if I know a company normally is at 8, 10, 12, 15 times higher, we can't predict the lows. But God damn it, we got an estimation of where they're going to be at in the highs. And later on, you'll find out that that's options. You could buy into the future. And when you buy into the future, you get clusters. You get a whole, a whole box. And I'm using these terminologies so I can connect with the people. So when I say clusters, no, they don't use that on the stock market. I know the nomenclature. But whenever you buy into the future, you're paying to own the future. I'm saying all so when I do the slides, I can talk to you like you already know what I'm talking about. So you got put options and you got call options. So always remember, call someone up or put somebody down. That's how you remember. So when you can bet on the future, but it's not really a bet because you're dealing with education and you're dealing with history and behavior. You can look at the charts and you can see we, what you'll realize, we always go up, we always go down, we always go up, we always go down. You can realize every seven years we go through some kind of recession, go back up. Then you can realize every four years on election season, there's always a plague that's about to kill man off. Every four years upon election, 2004, 2008, okay, 2012, 2016, 2020, you're going to always see an imminent threat to the world and it affects the economy every time just going into an election. Follow the behavior. I'm not making this up. I'm going to show you these things in here. Share this video and wake our people up so they don't get stuck. Our parents missed the wave. Don't miss this tsunami. How the hell can you? The tsunami ain't supposed to hit you. It ain't, 
You're not supposed to be missed by the tsunami. You're supposed to be running from it, but this time around, we're gonna run into it. Don't miss the economic tsunami. Our parents missed the wave. And some of you are parents. Don't miss the wave. They missed the wave. The tsunami is coming. It has, yo, the tsunami, we, we got a sign of the damn tsunami. You know how people, yo, I just need something real quick if I can double my money. Do you know from Friday, only because the market isn't open on the weekend, do you know from Friday to Monday, your money almost doubled? Do you know from Friday to today, Tuesday, your money doubled and more? Doubled! Where can you do that at? If someone told, yo, I could double your bread in about 72 hours. Yo, son, you for real? I'm, well, well, I will tell you is somebody who normally sells their shit for $150 is down to $21. I think it's fair to say, let's double it. But guess what? I'll go a step further and say, let's not just buy a stock and, and wait until next week. Let's buy an option for that Monday. So let's say you buy, what's today, 25th or something, 26th? <laughs> let's say you say, I'm buying an option for the 25th. So I got a, a March 25th option. And let's say the option is, Yo, we'll sell you the future for $35 of option. And on this contract, because the option is a contract, for that $35 contract, what we'll do, we'll give you 50 shares that you own. And if once you, anything that goes over the strike price, the strike price is when you break even. Anything that goes over the strike price, you get that times 50. So if you go one above that strike price, you say, you know what, I believe that shit. Okay, I got to stop for twenty one dollars. Uh, I believe by next week we'll be we'll be by I think twenty five. But that bitch do more than twenty five. That bitch do forty. And the option contract says we give you the right to own fifty shares for this one price. But if it don't happen, then yo your money's fucked. But if it do happen, whatever you do over. That, you get that times the amount of shares per that option contract. So that's a call option, because I'm saying it's going to go up. Would you get paid if you believe? That's just going to drop anyway. The same way, you can still get paid. That's a put option. You say, I want to own the future that this shit is bare, that it goes down. I'm going to own the future that this thing is a bull and it go up. Because bulls attack upward with the horns and bears attack downward with their hands. So when it's going down, it's a bear market. When it's going up, it's a bull market. And what I'm saying is we from the hood, so I'm going to integrate our own shit with it. Get up on your bully. I was on my bully last week. I got on my bully last week. So guess what? Let's just say, let's just say if, if you had the heart to, and, and the common sense and, and the courage and you saw $1,200 there, it was very easy to make almost $120,000 on a call option. It call options are going to cost more. Options in general is going to cost more if you buy them in near time, in the near future. But you can purchase leap options. And now I can purchase one year down the line, two years down the line. Now those options might be a penny or five cents. Pennies are for millionaires. But I just got to wait for two years. That, yo, I think in one year, this whole shit is going to clean up and these stocks will be somewhere back to where they, where they be at. Is that a fair fucking estimation? Can we see history teach us that inside of a year's time? History actually teaches us inside of six months from any pandemic, the economy is back up and running. And if I only have to pay pennies on a dollar for this estimation, so what if I'm wrong? But if I'm right and they give me 100 shares inside of an option, if I'm right and they give me 100 shares inside of an option, a contract that costs only 3, 5, 10, 12 cents, 1 cent, and they give me 100 shares of that, and I said, I'm going to buy 100 shares. I'm going to buy 100 options that are consisting of 100 shares. Then I own what? 10,000 shares into the future if I'm right. So whatever that shit costs, anytime it goes above the strike price, add 10,000 to it. So if it's $5 above that price, add 10,000 to five. If it's two points, if it's three points, if it's four points over, just think about it. And all I had to do is spend pennies on a dollar for common fucking sense. 
I don't know if you hear me though. I don't know if you really hear me. Pennies. People are out here spending pennies, but we only see as far as next week because we are a check to check people. We make our money check to check. So when you tell somebody, put some pennies out there for next week, put $20, $30 out there for next month. They get scary. But when I tell, yo, put a few pennies out there for next year, just sounds stupid. And they mock me and they ridicule me. But you know what they do right after? They get mad when I drive unnecessary, expensive things. But damn it, I got a surplus in money. And you ain't about to make me feel guilty because I taught this shit for free. And I don't give a damn if you go to the website right now. Yeah, I got a class that I never sell that cheap, $99. Because I should be compensated for my level of research and the insight that I get. Because if you listen to me last week, you'd be wealthy right now. In fact, if you look at the last video I posted on my Instagram right now, every single company, Carnival, Norwegian, uh, what's that, Caribbean Royal. Cruise Line? Royal, yeah. Royal Caribbean? American Airlines? Every single company I mentioned that I said it behooves you to invest in. Every single company that I mentioned in my last Instagram, you can look at the date when it was published, it hasn't even been 24 hours. Go on the market right now. Go on the market right now. Anybody that would have invested in any of the companies I mentioned on a video that was published last night would have made money today. And everybody that Brother Polite, can you help me? Brother Polite, can you help me? Yo, Pete, I just made money. Now, you know what the Negroes say? The Negroes say this. Yo, that's only for people who really got money because you ain't gonna make no money. So then, hey, you need, you need to put at least $500 in stocks and 300. Yo, that's popular rumors. And so let me kill the popular rumor right now. Let me kill the popular rumor right now. You mean to tell me you rather Let's look at American Airlines. When it was ten dollars and thirty cents, it went as high as seventeen dollars so far today, but the market didn't close yet. It's doing a steady sixteen dollars right now, as we speak. When you get a chance, I'm gonna just let me know where it's at. When you're done changing the baby, cause that's what we doing. We making money, making money and changing diapers. That's what we doing, making money and changing diapers. <laughs> Why are we changing diapers? Why are you over there working to the sweat of the brow, risking your life being security for someone, shaking your goddamn ass for these perverts with the negative energy to touch you, and then you wonder why you going home drained? Wondering why you're going home trained. And now you got some free time to do your study, do your research. What you going to do if you like? Look at the camera, face the opposite direction, look back, show a bit of your titty, and a whole lot of your ass in between to find your curves. But the damn clothes won't sell because no one can go to the party no more. I'm not knocking your hustle. Get back on your bully when that market opens up. But right now, that's the bear market. The coins that you save, you can easily take that investment to the future. What's a few fucking pennies? Is that 1633 America Airlines? So for the people that say, yo, you know, that's that's what rich people or people got at least five hundred dollars or thousand dollars, let me kill that. Because you mean to tell me when America Airlines was at ten dollars and brother polite said, yo, family, everybody, you on this email list, you on this text, you on my Instagram, I'm doing videos. Look, I bought it. You ain't gotta follow me, I'm just letting you know it behooves me to do so. So at $10.30, you mean to tell me if you bought 10 shares of that because all you had is $100, you mean to tell me you couldn't use the $60 or $70 profit that you made today 72 hours later? You mean if you had $100 right now and you put it in the bank, and let's say four days go by. Four days go by. And when those four days go by, you still have $100 in that bank. But if you bought, if you bought, come on, baby girl, work with me. Work with me, baby. I know you're excited. I'm excited too. We get rid of the best pampers. Her she got gold lining, goddammit. And she don't need no gold lining. We just doing it because we got a surplus. You mean to tell me? A hundred dollars in the bank that's still a hundred a hundred dollars in the bank on Friday that's still a hundred dollars in the bank on Tuesday is more appealing than a hundred dollars in the bank on Friday 
that's 160 to 170 on Tuesday is something only people who have $500 should do. Because all people with $500 are doing it several times over. So I can't tell people they should do this. They got to wait until they have $500 before they can start making a profit. It's per share, you know. Even if you only bought one goddamn share, if you're starving and you're broke, at least your ten dollars makes you six more. That's a hell of a profit. And if you bought some options, you could just buy deep into the damn future, because one year passes and two year passes just like that. And that, and, and you may buy an option contract that gives you the right to own one hundred shares into the future. And you done forgot about it, and one day you turn around and you go, oh, nigga, we made it. <laughs> See? People just say things because it sounds like it's smart. People disagree with stuff they just learned to disagree about for the last month or two. There's no microwaving information that you're doing for years on. So you do a leap option so you can spend pennies, pennies off of millionaires. You just got to have the patience to wait. The fuck? If you spend a few pennies, I ain't gonna babysit that shit. It's just a few pennies. Mm -hmm. Are we serious? You know how you treat pennies? But you got other people on planet Earth knowing the value of those pennies still to this day. Mm -hmm. That's why I wrote the book, Pennies Up for Millionaires, and Houses Are the New Credit Cards. You need to walk with me. I don't play games when I put down those books. Yo, did he really write books? Because he said he retired. Nick, well, I said I retired, I was chilling. You don't understand? I gotta take breaks in between what I'm doing because the heat be on me. The amount of attention that I get don't be positive attention because I'm teaching my people the truth. Even right now, I cannot upload pictures and videos to Facebook directly without having a problem, without my people having a problem sharing it. I can only have my live stream shared until they take that feature away. With Instagram, I can't even put a title or a caption on any of my videos or pictures. I can't say hi or like. Anyone's videos or pictures that has a large following, I can only talk to them through DM. I can't even respond to y'all in the comment section. Only thing I can do is upload my videos for as long as that lasts. That's why I tell y'all go to IamBrotherPolite.app. And this all started happening when I started getting these hundred thousand and quarter million views in two, three days for teaching economics and health. Not because I'm talking about killing people. Not because I'm so-called homophobic. No, when I started teaching health and getting a quarter million damn views and teaching economics and putting y'all on to game, then it's hell. Because remember, the, the way the market was in, just a little less than three days ago, it hasn't been that bad. It hasn't been that bad since 1929. And it took four years to officially recover from what took place in 1929. 1933. March 9th, House Joint Resolution 192. Look it up. Where they no longer pass laws, they pass bills, bills of exchange. And statutes become codes. And it's all about commerce. That's why they got privatized prisons. And big bonds, payment bonds, performance bonds are consolidated to form mortgage backed securities to bail people out of the debt that's accumulated from flawed mortgage endeavors. So people are incarcerated paying their debt back to society by, by fulfilling the debt obligation of the homeowner. And the Corrections Corporation of, of America behaves and acts as a surety. True story. True story. See, you can disagree for a few minutes, but I've been learning for fucking years. People want to disagree with me about how oh, all you need credentials, but now they just came out with the 5G information. Heavy. Cooperating things that I brought to the brought to the table. I'm not talking about no, oh, this person cut and paste from that one, that person cut and paste from that. They just brought out now in the news over 50% of the people that are in critical condition for coronavirus, they have problems with their gut or their digestive tract. Who's the first one talking that? That I can recollect. I said that from day one. My video's already published. All you have to look at the date that the articles were published. And you don't think my following is constantly showing me confirmation. All day I be getting, yo, look, they just saying, yo, this is a damn shame. Well, hopefully the Negroes believe you then. I got some other stuff today that got confirmed to me. I'm like, yo, that's dope. I posted it on my Instagram story. Somebody showed me. They said, well, like, you dead ass was talking about this. Yet something else again. And as far as the market is concerned, my phone is lit.
Because all you gotta do is look at my video from yesterday. Literally, you can look at my video from yesterday. Every single company that I said, look, I invested in these. I know how this beast is. You want me to say I'm giving you financial advice or not? I'm saying, like, look, fam, hit, hit, wait, wait. I invested in these. I'm showing you my receipts and everything. I'm giving you the PowerPoint so you can see the receipts very clear, so it's no excuse. So you can see how much money I've been putting into these things. On the day that I put the money in. On the day that I put the money in. And then today, so you see, if I'm lying, I'm dying. I put myself out there to say what I said and publish the video on more than one occasion. I did the same thing last Friday. And, and did videos show me buying it in real time. I got videos show me buying it at $10.30. Right now, I'll republish it. You know what, I'm gonna republish it. And y'all know I, I had the video on me when I bought them shits. I said, you know what, let's just document this because this is special. And then when Monday came, straight from that Friday, I bought it when the market was closed. Like, fuck this. I gotta buy this. I'm part of my language this book. This is making me curse. It's just so, it's just so out there. I'm gonna publish a video for y'all. You're gonna see on my Instagram story. I'm gonna, I'm gonna upload it to, to Facebook and won't be able to be shared, most likely. But I want you to take a look at it. And you're gonna see. American Airlines for ten dollars and thirty cents. You're gonna see me like this, and you're gonna see I bought I bought uh, ten shares. Not ten shares. Damn, I fucking buy thirty more. I just I can't stop. All week I just kept buying more. Couldn't stop. And then Monday came, and it was a recorded best day ever, as far as points are concerned on the market. What took four years from 1929, Great Depression, to 1933 for the best recovery ever. On a day that looked like it was our worst day ever on the market, it only took a turnaround of 48 hours to get into our best day. Unprecedented. Never seen it before. But I knew with enough common sense, a staple like America Online Airlines, a staple like America Airlines, for only $10.30, I wanted to wait for $9, but I said, yo, the market is closed. I don't know. Certain hell is going to be raised. The world's going to end if, the, if them bitches go down to 6 or 7 I, I, I doubt it. Just buy me. I'm not going to wait any longer because if the market opens up and that shit makes me feel up. And I'm going to tell you this. I'm gonna, I had to cut myself off from the conversation with myself. Part of the confusion. I'm a little ADD. And I'm not saying that to all the people that's called. I'm saying I'm in the community because I think all over the damn place. That's how I was shopping all over the place. And everywhere I shop with my AED ads, I made the money. <laughs> score, score another one for the AED crew. Because <laughs> you Negroes with the credentials who ain't sick mentally, you guys are broke as shit. Because you need the way to go to school to get information that's common sense. If I tell you something that's common sense, the only thing you gotta do is look it up to see if it's true. What the hell is this? Only credential people can say something to you? Look up the goddamn information. Stop letting these people trick you into thinking you gotta wait on them. Every week I turn on the TV waiting on them to tell me what I should eat or what I should drink, and the only thing they're telling me is wash your hands and cover your mouth. Then I got another asshole going, yo, you talk too loud when you teach it. I was turned off. Bitch, I made six figures. Fuck is you talking about? You be talking like me too. Everybody is unemployed out there. Unemployed. And this mother freak is gonna tell me, because I'm talking loud, they can't get privy, they can't get access to this information. They can't get access to this information. You turned off. I have turned my head. You think you're saying something smart, right? You should talk a little lower, you know? So because all that negative energy, this ain't no negative energy. This is a dude like this. That's definitely broke talk. Because that shit right here, me just doing this got me shaky because I don't know what the market's doing right now while I'm talking. <laughs> I'm asking my wife, give me updates, show me the phone periodically while I'm doing this. I'm going to talk about how loud I'm talking. That's because when you're in a big house, when you buy your family several big houses, we're about to buy another one in the middle of this confusion. Why are you going to buy a house? Why are you going to buy another one? Because I'm at one wife buy the house so she can sell it to the other wife. Why are you doing that? Because when one wife buys the house 
and then sells it, it's going to have a little mortgage left if we do this for credit purposes. When one wife buys the house and then on the record sells it for a dollar, doesn't fucking matter, and the debt now goes on to the other wife, this wife gets the credit for paying, fulfilling the whole debt. Even though there's more money left on the house, on your credit record, it's going to show you bought a house and you fulfilled the three hundred, four hundred thousand dollar debt. So the credit goes sky high, and now she goes into a, a place and says, "Yo, I want a personal loan or a business loan. What up?" She gonna get six or more figures because she's on the record for selling a house in a volatile market. But really, I want the house. So God damn it, when the other wife get the house, sell it to me so your credit can be lit. And if, we, if anyone does that twice on their own credit, you got the record of selling two houses? You're not even in, you're not a realtor or nothing like that? A work? See, y'all don't know how to play the damn game. If your family big enough, if you got at least two people in your family, someone should have got a house and sold the other one. The person who really wants the house needs to sit back there, let the other one buy it. The person who wants the house needs to sit back, let the other party in their family buy it, and then for the record, sell it to them so your credit could go sky high. So you always have credit at your disposal to get big money to do big things. Didn't know that, did you? And if some kind of crazy ass bill is coming for you, you can pay five, ten dollars or nothing and tell the credit bureaus, freeze my credit real quick because I think somebody is prying into it. I, I think I think. I think it's a matter of security right now. I think it's been a breach. And they can freeze your shit till you clean up that situation. You know, you know what? We got to reconcile. Let's figure it out. You get, you know, start dry snitching again. <laughs> See, these are the things school never taught you. But I need credentials. But you can't just say, I heard it from Pete. Let me double check. Can y'all freeze my report? Because right now my shit going to be on fire because of Corona. <laughs> you should all be freezing the shit out of your reports. So you figure out your game plan. Because Corona going to have your shit lit. I'm lying. Go check it out. I need no damn credentials for this. To save my people, I'm going to save my... Harriet, they said Harriet Tubman said, well, true or false? She would save more slaves if they only knew that they were slaves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Picture me. Yo, glad they need some bread. Okay, man. What you got? $100. All right, bet. Go over there. I don't want the money, my brother. Give them bitches the money. Give them the money. My next week, you should look out. Yo, you know, so uh, I'm going to talk to my attorney and, and go over some things. Nigga, you ain't got no attorney. You barely had $100. Why y'all be playing games with me? <laughs> why y'all be lying to me for no reason? Yeah, I'm going to get... Yo, why you do this? Just be up, up front and, and keep it 100 and then when I charge for something, you act like I ain't giving you nothing but free game over and over. Y'all think when I be doing them 10 minute Instagrams, one shot with no edits? With no edits. Y'all don't know the time it takes to just put the PowerPoint together. What it takes to put the slides together and give you facts that you can check out and call me on it if I'm wrong. Facts to check out to call me on it if I'm wrong. I put myself out there like nobody else. Yo, here's where the info's coming from. I'm not just giving you lip service. Right, right. I'm, I'm busting my ass here, creating slides that I don't get paid for. Several times, over and over and over. And the second it's time for me to get paid, you in my pockets. I want you to be my neighbor, not in my damn pockets. I want you to live next door to me. That's what I want. I want to make you money so that when I say let's put together a fund and let's have a say in what's going on in the world, you can put up 5K because I hope you get 100 grand. She can put up 20K. She refinanced the property, bought that, bought two more houses. Yo, Pete, yo, you got your five, here's 10. Let's put it into the fund. BP Investment Group is real. Yo, you think I'm BSing? We license and everything. You think I'm BSing? You're going to see. Sign up for that book like I, I told you I'm going to be the first black billionaire. You think I'm taking pictures with Kevin Coley, CEO of the biggest black investment bank in America? Pardon me, the biggest black bank in America? 
Come on, man. Yo, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. You think it's a game? As I, as I show you this proudly, you think it's a game? Yo, I'm going to show you how disciplined I am, man. Let me show you how disciplined. This is Harriet Tubman. This is Harriet Tubman. I'm proud to have to bank with a black bank and have Harriet Tubman on her Wakanda disposition. I'm glad to bank black and have a black woman there. So when I see a racist ass Caucasian, I just fumble my car on purpose so it can drop. <laughs> and pick it up nice and slow. Swipe it too fast, swipe it too slow. Just so they can keep seeing his face over and over. Or to buy uh, uh, just a little bar of soap. I'm putting you through certain hell and the rest. To let you know our time is coming, it's nearing. And we're waking up now. And we got knowledge now that we never had before. And our time has come. Don't let nobody tell you you need credentials to be brilliant. I ain't never, I've seen credentials for all sorts of stuff, but I ain't never seen a credential because of your brilliance. Where are those credentials at? Most of them people laid off right now. You went to school for, for freaking four, six years only to work at Kinko's and they laid you off right now because nobody need no damn printouts right now. I'm not saying this is to knock your hustle. I'm not saying this is to knock your I'm saying, yo, don't mess around and miss your tsunami. Watch this. I don't play no games. Watch this. Y'all think this is really, really a game. I don't, I don't play no games. I don't play no games with y'all. You know, I, I gotta really show y'all, like I don't play no games. This, this, is, this is from shit that I made from the smaller, the smaller joints I was rolling the dice on. And I always gotta replace the money. I, I spent like 400 to change yesterday, last minute, on some Royal Caribbean stuff, just to buy a few more. I was a little angst, I was just, you know, I said, yo, look at this. Boom. Oh no, you know what? This is my man actually. My man, I got a nice little tip. Because when I helped him make some money from just giving him encouragement, he was nice enough to throw me 400. He gave me this today. He said, y'all, you want the, the bread, Pete? I said, give me some cash. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and give me the rest of the check. <laughs> and he gave me that. Now this, this for two different things. But well, fuck it, I put it together. This, this for my next joint. This for my next investment. I got some options I'm paying for. I can do pennies at a time. But my mindset is like, yo, I'm throwing 5,000 here because the shit I'm about to put my money in is going to make me a quarter fucking million if I'm wrong. Well, what if I'm wrong? Well, I'm also putting another 5,000 somewhere else. Because I ain't going to be wrong twice. That's something I do know. <laughs> And when I say 5,000, I'm breaking up my options. There's no way I'm gonna lose, because if anyone break bank, it wouldn't compare to the amount of money I put up. Because if anyone break bank the way I'm doing my options, yo, let me just explain to you. There's no way I'm not coming out. If, if I could be wrong three times, if only two of them is right. If one of them is right, I'd make a quarter million. If one of them is right, and yes, it's going to take some time, and I'm going to produce it for you. I know I don't give you my business. I don't have to validate what I'm doing. I should be able to teach, and on the merit of what I'm teaching, you do the research and say, I can see the validity of what he's saying. That's how it should work. But these is all hundreds. I made this from dividend investments, all sorts of shit. I made this. And guess what I'm doing? Shit, I'm putting it right back in the cycle, but this time it's going to be options. I only use the stocks. Yeah, let me tell you, like I told you, you invest in sectors, not individuals. You invest in the industry, but when you first start coming up, you put some money in stocks. And if that shit double like it did, I'm take, I am I cashed out, took half my shit, and I'm putting it in options that's going to really do better by me. And I put some in ETFs, some of the dividends I had reinvested, because I got a reinvestment, uh, reinvestment, uh, dividend reinvestment program. Drip. That's what we say, we dripping, right? Now the real drip, the real drip, the real dividend reinvestment program is when you buy these things after you make a profit. If you could buy three of the same thing, then you, you should buy the one. If I could buy this chain three times, then I can afford it. One time. 
If I could buy these $4,000 shoes three times, then I can afford it the one time. That's how we're going to do Because wealth begins at over $150,000 a year for an individual. And that means that you should be able to invest one third of your income, win, lose, or draw. You remain uncompromised in terms of your living situation. So that means I should be able to invest at least 50 grand every year and lose it completely and still come out the winner. How about that? Talking about I'm talking too loud. It's because the house too damn big. That's one problem I don't mind having. I don't need a mic. Yo, we should, we should really just go to the city. Look at the curtains in the house. I don't got regular curtains. You know where the hell I got to go to buy curtains that's that long? That's not regular curtains, people. Look at the damn ceiling. Look at this unnecessary architecture taking up space because I got space. And this is the Miami crib. Because any of you that keep up with me, you know how we look in Beverly Hills. I ain't about to struggle in this fucking coronavirus shit. I really do this for real. When the homies is doing this, I don't know. That might be the advance money for the record labels, but when I do this, I barely even show y'all. Brett, I'm just showing you what I'm about to throw into the bank, because after this, I gotta go to the bank. After this, I gotta go to the bank. I gotta cash checks. <clears throat> What's that money make say here in the check cashing business? So am I. So am I. I'm not playing, I'm not playing games. So when people see me buy my shit, I ain't trying to hear nothing, because I was here teaching you. From the roots, what you can do. And I step back. You want to go a little further, you feel comfortable with me, you can roll with me. If you don't, I gave you enough information to do you, because I care about you that much. I ain't got to give you my trade secrets and my investment secrets. All you got to do is look at my last Instagram video, and you got the way to the well. I dragged your ass to the well last night, and you still ain't do nothing. So I don't want to hear shit. When you see the top drop, my wives are in form fitting clothes, and we ain't do our taxes yet. We was too turned up. I don't wanna hear shit. I don't wanna hear nothing. Oh, he not for the people. He too materialistic. Yo, you know, put that in school. Then you saying something, brother. Nah, Negro. Let a bunch of us get that bread and put that into a school. Don't have it all on me. Cause if that's how you wanna behave, I'ma just do me like y'all doing you. Cause you wanna take care of your family and give them all you got, I'ma just behave like that. Now, group of us start making this bread, we pull our funds, we get 100% from a, we get 1% from 100 people, but we are not about to tell somebody, give us your only 100%. In other words, 1% from 100 people, if something happened to one person, 99 of us still got the task at hand. 99% is there and we'll accommodate for that one missing eventually. We'll replace it. Well, you want 100% from one person. You want one person to heal the world, save the world after they work hard and generated their money. No, how about everybody put up their 1%? Everybody making their responsibility to be successful so you got to add value to your family, to your community, and of course yourself. Because you ain't no good to no one unless you're good to yourself. So it's my criteria, my criteria and my decision to decide what it is that I need to do before I start just giving things away left and right. I give all the time. But and when I film what I'm doing, Oh, it would have been nice if you didn't film it, then it'd be sincere. When I don't film it, this nigga just buying shit for himself. You can't win with these people. So that's why I'm going to just do me. I'm going to do me. And I don't give a damn if nobody's on them streets. I'm going to drive the Rolls Royce happy as hell like it's a crowded street. Because guess what? I'm by myself all the time with this. Because when I'm telling people the truth, they always got a question. They always think it's Illuminati. I'm a government agent. Oh, he trying to get you for your bread. Yo, I'm too smart to be broke and it costs way too much to be poor. I say it again, I'm too smart to be broke, and it costs way too much to be poor. I don't need none of y'all bread. I done made it out the rat race. I don't need none of it. But damn it, I'm going to get compensated if I share some with you that's going to make you tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, possibly millions, and you can't pry yourself away from the little bit of bread that I say, yo, compensate me because I get so much time for free away from my family. I teach everyone in my family what's going on. So that way, they empowered, whether I'm here or not, so they can keep surviving, so they can keep living. I'm in that. I'm in that. I'm in that. You gotta hurry up, because I don't want this lady complaining about me screaming on video, or the guys. Come on, man, I don't play no games. I live this. I live this. I really do this. Let me, I'm, I'm going to the slide. I really do this.
This is something I really do. I really do this. Make sure she do not drop those chess pieces, please. I really do this. This is not a game. We want to talk crazy. You can't, you can't fake material success work for so long till someone catch you really living in the project. They always say, oh, he in an Airbnb. Yo, can you fix that? He in an Airbnb. This is what people want to say. He's in hotels. This is what stupid people want to say all the time. He in a hotel. He, 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 he. But guess what? Now that hotels is illegal and Airbnbs is illegal, now what? What they say now? You just showing up. It's always something you. Yeah, that's why I be calling it the miserable lights. You Negroes are the Negro miserable lights. Cause rather than take heed to the information, boom, you can start. So remember, go to I am brother polite dot app and you baby girl, give it some time. Why you guys do this when I'm talking, baby? Why you gotta do it when I'm talking? <clears throat> Come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the real drip, as I just was talking about, is dividend reinvestment program. And you set up a Fidelity account, you can do it right here. There's other joints like Robin Hood, that's pretty good too. Sign up for my gold in the, in the crisis class. Gold in the crisis. This costs $99. Anybody that been dealing with me know when I do courses, they're always $200, $250, Oh, it's because of the times he need the money, so he's going to do this, that, and dirt. Oh, really? So you're going to act like you don't see the videos that I published from last week and even last night with receipts showing you the money that's being made that I do without you? Stop worrying about somebody making some damn bread after all this info, because where else you gonna go for someone to show you? I showed you in my last video, slide for slide. So you go to this part of your account, then you click this part on your account, then when that tab comes down, you click this, ticker symbols right here, ticker symbols, the stock symbol, this is the letters abbreviated to make up the name of the company, sometimes it matches, sometimes it doesn't. Then you go down here, you go for market trade, you might go for limit trade, because you might say, you know what, I will only buy it under the pretense that that thing drops three more dollars, but if it doesn't drop three more dollars, don't execute the trade, keep the money in my account, but if it does drop three dollars, buy it so that way you ain't got to babysit it for the day. You put up the amount of sales that you want, the amount of shares you want to buy, you put it on if it's for the day, done deal. You set up your dividend reinvestment program, you make sure you invest in companies that reinvest back into the people that invested in them, and you reallocate your returns, that they return to you, back to them at a fractional piece. You get those monies over time, you accumulate those, you allocate it into buying some options for the future. Leap options for the far future, so it can cost pennies on a dollar. And you get a bunch, you get the right to own a bunch of shares. Buy on the rumors, sell on the news. It doesn't even have to make sense to you right now. It will when you take the class. That's just to give you the nuances and particulars. That's it. <clears throat> I am brother like I If you don't buy the class and you do buy the class, no matter what, still go to the bottom of this where it costs $99 and still sign up so you can get the free newsletters. So you get the free PowerPoint. So you get the free classes. Because I'm not going to keep doing these classes on these people's social media. Because they made it clear they don't want me there no more teaching my people. Because if I was talking that Negro stuff and talking about gangbanging and violence and selling a black woman and smacking her ass, they wouldn't have a problem. But when I start talking about health and the gut being connected to your brain by way of the intro and the crime cells and the vagus nervous system and, and existing in the synapse, then it's a problem. I'm going to talk to you about the milk having 750,000 somatic cells, a euphemism for pus, and 24,000 live bacteria before the Food and Drug Administration allows it to be taken off the shelf and then be a pasteurizing process in which they use radiation to prolong the shelf life of the milk. Then it's a problem. Then it's a problem. Now I can't even put a title or a damn caption on my videos no more. I can't even say thank you for liking the video on my own page. So, go to IamBrotherPolite.app. So we have a hub where we can deal with the information. I'm going to have days where you can just go at random, talk to me and my administrators for free, and ask all the questions you want in the world. 
That's what I'm doing. But this is going to take you to the app. But right now, this is the website to the app. So don't type this up for the app. This is a website to the app. This is a website to the app. You want to go outside in the backyard? Give us some air. Let me say hi to her before you go. Yeah, do it this way because you're about to not go like that. Let me, get, let me say hi to her. It's okay. Let me say hi to you. Let me say hi to you. Good. This is the one. Now she want to be shot, camera shot, right? You want to be camera shot now, right? Don't you smirk at nobody. Go ahead, say hi. Say hi. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? That's what you want. You just want to get on camera, right? Get up out of here. You tell this girl, get up out of here. Look at her being slick. Now you want to act quiet. Everyone hurt your mouth. Everyone hurt your mouth. Don't you be... Don't you smell? Everyone hurt your mouth. Everyone heard it. <laughs> Get up out of here. Don't touch that chain. And I don't touch that chain. Bad. <laughs> 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 Get out of here. My daughter's a comedian. She's not just a bodybuilder, she's a comedian. Wait, Yeah, hold it better. No, I'm on live. What are you doing? Teaching. The laser. Pardon me. I'm doing a camera moment. Wait, you held it like this? <laughs> the round trip. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> there she goes. She want to be on camera. <laughs> yeah, get us some air. She like that. Go to the next one. Next slide. So go to IamBrotherPolite.app. No, we good, we good. Go to IamBrotherPolite.app. Remember, P-O-L-I-G-H-T, the correct way to spell it. P-O-L-I-G-H-T. Pride, optimism, love, integrity, gallant, honesty, and trust. Go to the next one. Uptick rule. So the uptick rule, we're gonna fly through because I covered a lot of information, so now I can teach under the presumption that you're walking with me for those that this is new. To them. And even though, don't think that everybody that knows something about stock knows it all. Because mm -hmm. it's different things going on. And all I'm doing is diversifying the portfolio. And I take some money out of one thing and I put it into another and I keep spreading it out. Because eventually there's a weight. I'm not going to tell you you can't lose. But you got to be kind of retarded if you just completely lose everything. That means you, you just, you overly aggressive. You wild aggressive. Don't have people lying to you. Oh man, if you don't got 500, you don't got 1,000, you can't start. Yes, you can start because if you buy fit caps for forty dollars before you sweat in it, it's not going to make you no money after that. So if you go buy a forty dollar fit cap, fit cap, why well, you can't buy two shares of a cruise line that's over four or five times lower than it normally is? And if you lose it, you lose it. You can't gain any more than you gain when you bought a fit cap for forty dollars. So I don't never look at anything that I'm spending my money on like I'm losing. It serves its purpose. I, I, I just can't see me really losing. It's a lesson in there. You know, that's it. It's what, what are you losing? You spend money on all sorts of stuff you don't necessarily need to spend. Come on, Fashion Nova, I'm going to tell y'all some real shit. I spent $100 on Fashion Nova. But not because of some woman twisting her neck, you know. But you know what? She does have something to do with it. Because the stock is like 80-something cents. And I believe they got so many people down, that shit damn near is a cult. <laughs> so I decided, let me just buy 100 shares of this shit. I don't know, I had an extra hundred dollars. I'm like that. Cause guess what, that hundred dollars, I was gonna buy some bullshit with it that wasn't gonna do nothing. So I just bought a hundred dollars in Fashion Nova. I said, oh shit, they up here. All these, when this shit gets, yo, there is gonna be a whole revolution. When, 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 a, when the economy gets right, mark my words, it's a prophecy, you won't wish you probably invested in Fashion Nova. I'm like, what's my phone? <laughs> <laughs> it's 89 cents. Buy the goddamn thing 20 times. You won't even spend $20. Right? Look at that price from Fashion Nova. Well, tell me what you see. I'm on it before the women are. Can you pass me my phone, please? <laughs> In the kitchen. Oh, I see it. Come on, man. They be coming downstairs seeing me up 2, 3 a.m. in the morning like, yo, when you going to sleep? It because I be scheming on shit like that. Because I'm mad I wasn't taught this at a young age. That's why I was telling Matt earlier. I said, yo, Matt, 
You may, you really ain't getting it. This shit is a video game to you. You playing around with this. I'm going, we going to the bank. Fact or fiction to, to make sure my account her account open up, right? So I can open up yet another account with her as a beneficiary. She got a custodial account. And we're going to lock these things in. Plus, I got the trust. We just doing real, real stuff. I'm going to keep cursing. Part of my vulgarity. You know, but I'm just telling you, like, this is what we got to be on. And let her play around. Because she's saving up her money. What's she going to buy it on? What a child really going to spend their money on right now? So I make sure, yo, my daughter got to spend her money on. On things she's interested in. You like that company enough? You think this company going to be around long enough? Buy it. Buy, buy, buy part ownership of something. Be an owner. Okay? Be an industrialist. Be an owner. She understands this. Oh, you walk around tell people you partially own that company. And they owe you some money, too. Get your dividends. So she played, oh, baby, I need, I need to get 10 shares or something. Oh, just go online, go into the account. I make sure she know how to do it all and get there and watch her go through the process. And she keep doing it over and over and over. I ain't got to grade her. I ain't got to test her. I ain't got to give her an uh, uh, excellent written and cursive. I don't got to put stickers on top of it. All I got to do is just be repetitive. Just make her do it over and over and over again until it's normal. And she's walking these streets thinking everybody else knows what she knows. I'm like, baby, the adults don't even know what you know. It's just so normal to you. One day you're going to really get in the real world and realize how we equipped you as a family. Mm -hmm. So long as I can help her, she'll never work a job in her life. And if she's doing this right now at this age, and this is the way she understands to save her money, and she's uh, creating annuities and everything, or funding annuities, trust me. By the time she got age, I'm like, you'll have plenty of free time. The way you like to sit here and uh, binge watch shows and all that stuff, you're going to need to make this money, the, the time <laughs> you spend. You gonna need this money, man. I gotta talk to my daughter for real. But yeah, why not? I saw a fashion number. Did you pull it up? You gotta look. You got just just type in fashion over ticket symbol or fashion over stock symbol, and you'll see the company that, that has it. If you write the word, it ain't gonna be there. Some other company owns it. Is it Kara's Fashion Group? I think so. I think that's it. What's the, what? What it cost? Like eighty some cents. Okay. 89? It was like 89 cents. It's uh, $1.40. The damn thing went up too. You see what I'm saying? It went up too. And pennies are familiar. So depending on how many dollars I put in, is how much more pennies on each spend I did. You said it's $1 on what? $1.40. <clears throat> was it 40 cents? $1.40? Hold on a second. Yeah. Woo! You said it's what? $1.40. 40 cents. 40 cents. No, no, what? Oh, KRS Fashion Group. KRS? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see, and that's what you do. You see, y'all got the instructions online? KRS Fashion Group. So what's the ticker symbol or the stock symbol? The ticker symbol is KBSF. KBSF. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So look at that. It went up. If it went up a dollar and 40 cents, that means what? I again made 50% of my money back. So if I put $100 up, people, I made $50 over of Fashion Nova. Thank you, Fashion Nova. I made $50. And I, I did it for my daughter. She made fifty dollars. So guess what? That's good money for a child to make fifty bucks, just like that. She can take that fifty, invest in a new company, or we could talk about her buying some options. Look at that. It was eighty-nine cents or something like that when I bought it. Now it's a dollar and forty-something cents. I made over fifty cents from a from a dollar from an investment less than a dollar. I made over fifty cents. Come on, you can't lose. Make 50 cents if it's 89 cents or less. And I'm just saying to myself, the first thing people are going to do when the market gets right is fly somewhere. And if they fly somewhere, they're going to want to get dressed. Yep. And they go back to the booty models because now we need you again. Mm -hmm. We need you again. And it's going to be on with the opposite look. You're looking back. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be a revolution because everybody's going to be back on their bully. The market will be open and everybody's going to be shopping. And those, those markets are going to be ridiculous. Yeah. And, and even as I speak now, I might be a little angry I ain't buying more. I know. I'm looking at Because at 89 cents, it was, I just bought 100 because I had, a, I had a frivolous 100 on me. <laughs> that I, I literally found it in my pockets. And I said, rather than me do something silly with it, let me just throw it somewhere. Because that's what I was about to do. I am about to buy some, some extra, you know, I'm talking about buying a new uh, video game system. And I said, yo, let me stop. Let me at least wait until November because when all the new Xbox and everything all come out, let me stop and just spend this money on something that might make me money. And I'm glad I made extra 50 bucks. I feel like taking the 50 dollars out and probably do something different. With it. Um, <clears throat> I need 
It's all good. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I don't know the name. <clears throat> it's all good. Because I'm, I, I got a Cardi B interview. I got to put out. I'm going to be the only one putting it out. So I'm just waiting. If you see that number, just let me know, but we won't answer it. So yeah, it's stuff like that. All you got to do is use your sense. Okay, when the market gets better, people going to want to fly somewhere ASAP. And let me give you some more insight. Think, I want y'all to listen to me carefully. If you don't mind losing, maybe, look, to go from California to Philadelphia, it's like $16. It's probably going up now. But it ain't going to cost more than 40 50 bucks or whatever to go from one side of the country to the next. To buy a one-way ticket, little to nothing. So I'm in anticipation of leaving this mother effort with all this social distancing. So why don't you buy some flights one year from now where you can probably rest assured we could be able to fly? It's just a lucky guess. It's an educated guess. Why don't you start buying one-way flights for like 12 different fucking places? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yo, this is what I be thinking when I'm up. I'm like, yo. Yeah, how can people yeah. not win with these ideas? Yo. Boy, like, and if there's a way for me to sell my ticket and say, that's what I was thinking. I, I wrote the wrong name on this shit, I'm I was like, okay, <laughs> oh. But think about it. Is this right or wrong, family? No. Is it wrong to think, you know what? Let me start buying tickets right, one way. One way. I'm about to try. Yeah, I, I ain't look, but at least America we could do it. Fact. At least we could do it in our country. Fact. Yep. But if they allow me to buy it one year from now out the country, I'm gonna buy all sorts. Of, I'm gonna go on tour. I'm gonna go on a <laughs> fucking tour. I promise you. Pardon my language. This shit make me perfect. I'm going on a worldwide tour. I will put I will put two hundred dollars up right now, and I will be in like eight countries. Easy. <laughs> Word, I meant to tell you that, and I had the Eureka feeling last night, like, yo. Which island you want to go to? <laughs> so, I'm in Barbados, I'm in Guyana. Then we, just, we, go to, we make a stop in Ghana, we go to Nigeria, right next to that, you know, Dubai ain't too far. We move around, all for 200 damn dollars. <laughs> just think about how we are at an advantage if you really think. Fashion Nova probably could take me to three different countries right now. Damn. That little money I make from Fashion Nova could probably pay for three oh a three God. country trip right now, and I, I I'll be doing some damn pictures on a strip of Fashion Nova just. No, you not. <laughs> <laughs> like yo, good looking. I'll tag the ass. Oh my God. Word up. So I'm just thinking on so many ways. You gotta see the money where no one's talking about it, but you need time to. You first you study, and then you start thinking. Cause like I always say, smart. Is the ability to retain information and regurgitate it, but intelligence is the ability to take that information and multiply it several times over. So two plus two equals four, and my child remembers it. I say she's smart, but after two plus two equals four, if she can turn around and deduce mathematically that if two plus two equals four, then four minus two equals two, and then two times two equals two, and then two to the second power equals four. If she can do that, I'm like, whoa, she just took that and did two times two equals four, and two to the second power equals four, and four minus two equals four. And she, from one thing I gave her, three things came out. The, the input was one, the output was three. Then I know she's intelligent. So we got to be intelligent about this. Don't get stuck saying to yourself how bad the times are. Don't get stuck. Instead, see the opportunity. See the goal in the crisis. That's the name of the class. I got ideas for days that I should be selling these drugs. But my people, I'd be like, you know what? They so worried about someone making money, they ain't even gonna consider what they're gonna learn. So I'm not even worried that the ideas is gonna go all over the place. Because I know how my people are. Yeah. You wait until the last minute and then you're gonna buy the cheap four hundred dollar flights instead of the cheap forty dollar flights. Damn. <clears throat> buy into the future. Come on, you can buy within the states. You ain't been to certain states before, even if you don't go. I mean, you damn sure will call out sick next year. Everyone won't believe you. It's a fact. You about to have your party, <laughs> your celebrate your birthday in a whole nother. <laughs> Come on, man. And I'm, shit, it's some states I'm not really too interested in. Maybe I'll go to Hawaii. That's part of America. Yeah. Virgin Islands. That's something that's You feel what I'm saying? Like, whatever's available, yeah, let's, right let's just go places we don't really rock with. And, and we may love it, but the, the, I will enjoy it because we know we're there for $32. <laughs> it may never happen again in our lifetime. Yeah, right now I'm just a 
debate and pressure give more of American Airlines <laughs> fashion over. Like, seriously. <laughs> By that fashion over. Yeah, I gotta get ready to leave so I can deposit monies into Fidelity to buy some more shit. Two twenty-four. <laughs> yeah, we out of here. Let me let me go through these slides. Baby, don't start that. So a uptick rule is when you're in a bear market like this that's on decline, they set up a rule so you couldn't just sell your shares and buy them back again because it wouldn't be fair, especially if you got a lot of shares. So if you buy them back again, you would have to buy it back at the same amount you sold them for, if not more. Because sometimes people got insider trading information that other people ain't privy to, and then you sell early enough to not lose nothing, and then you take up all the stock at the bottom for people like us, because normally when people sell, there's another group of people who never bought that they buy in. But you change that whole algorithm if the sellers sell out in enough time and buy right back, then by the time you come to the stocks, it's doing what it's doing now, it's going back up. So what does it have to do with anything? Well, the uptick rule is telling you that here yeah, they said they're about to enforce the uptick rule. When you tell people you're about to enforce an uptick rule, what do you think people are going to do? They're going to sell early. Then they're going to buy back. And when they buy back, by the time they buy their million dollars worth of shares back, two million dollars worth of shares back, the price goes up and it's out of reach from you again. Which is why we're here saying, get your credit up. We'll hook it up in two to three weeks. We'll remove all your debt. And we'll make sure you get access to larger lines of credit. Yes, it costs $3,000 to do the process with us. But if I'm giving you guarantees that in two to three weeks, all your debt will be removed. You let me work with you another two to three weeks. Even if these damn things go up, they won't. the market's still got time to fluctuate a little and mature. Then guess what? When you get that, that line of credit, you can, with conviction per the knowledge that you're taking in every day with me, learning, learning, learning. I even talked to my stockbroker that taught me, who's under the family of the people, of the guy who created the options in the first place. And there's a story behind that. Facts. And I'll let him tell you on IamBrotherPolite.app. But everybody says, yo, one thing about Polite, I only got to tell him something once. That doesn't mean I, uh, I'm a troublemaker or I just talk to him once and he get it right. No, because my memory, I, I learned something I'm interested in. You only say it once with no notepad. With no notepad. I'm just, that's just my gift. I read something forward, I can recite it to you backwards because I see the paper in front of my face after I read it. I see it without the book there. So it's easier for me to retain information. And if I read for 20 hours, I got 20 hours of data in my head. I just got to make sense out of it because I can see it. It stays with me. This is what I'm dealing with. I'm not saying it ain't better than everybody. Everybody got gifts. That's mine. And on top of it, then I can communicate it to the people. And I'm always doing my best to find a way to make it make sense to the people that I'm communicating it to. I'm too smart to be broke. And it costs way too much money to be poor. I create a situation so viable that you understand you should be able to invest one third of your outcome. I give you enough credit that's three times that of your, of your income, you're supposed to be able to invest one third of your income, I create a situation where you get more than three times your income, then what would you invest? Think about the ratio between you getting, you're supposed to be able to invest one third of your income safely, and in order to do so, it normally has to be 150 grand, that's when you actually have the full capability to amass wealth. But separate from that, but considering that ideology, what happens when you're supposed to invest be able to invest one third of your income, win, lose, or draw, stay comfortable, but instead you wind up making three times more plus your income. Think about it. Then what would you invest if that's the case? What would you invest if I give you enough credit that's more than three times what you make a year? What would you invest? Because then now you're talking about investing one third of your credit, not even your income. And you'll be able to handle that mathematically, no matter what happens. I don't know if people hear me. <clears throat> well, you follow the dividend reinvestment program, DRIP, the real DRIP, and you create an income out of investing in companies that invest back into you by giving you dividends. You buy some options, you get some ETFs, that is to say you purchase in the sector, not the individual, just those three things right there puts you in a position. You do leap options. It 
It's amazing. It's amazing. It's unbelievable. That, that, that what's in front of us has never been in front of us. Not our generation. Every generation misses it. Every generation has a group, has the masses of black people that missed out. Every generation. But in this internet era, I said I'll be damned if there's at least not a record of someone saying something to the people. That's what I said. In this internet era, I will be damned if there's no recordation of somebody making you hip to what's going on. At the very least, so for the record, you can blame yourself. And for the record, your children can actually have the right to blame you because I existed. This is not ego. This is not arrogance. This is each one teach one. If you know something's right, tell everybody and get them hip to game before the tsunami comes. You don't know how annoyed I already am for what I didn't do. Because it makes you feel like I should have put every life saving in last week. I know. Because <laughs> I really knew it. I knew it. I knew it with a passion. So though I had good news and my accounts was flooded, I was still looking at the other accounts that I didn't take investments out of. <clears throat> and I was mad. <clears throat> Chill out, baby. Chill out, baby. Baby. Thank you. That's fashionable. A Google fashionable ticket symbol. So, what we have here is two GOP senators face questions over stock sales ahead of the market's coronavirus side. So, what happens is they knew. They actually knew information that was pertinent to the people about coronavirus and how it would affect their markets. They messed us up twice. <clears throat> and so this uptick rule, telling people you're going to enforce a rule to stop them from selling their shares so they can't buy it back to keep the fairness in the market going, telling them this is only going to make them do it in that crevice of space. And then basically what they're using is coronavirus as a cover-up to phase in quantitative ease, which is the stimulus package to put money back into these companies. So the economy could flourish and then put some monies back into your hands so people can shop. Let's go to the next one. Don't miss it. Because it's already going on and they're already boxing you out of a space where it's not going to be this easy. And it'll take longer. Right now, it's going to take a shorter time period. Right now, it's going to take a shorter time period to come up. It's going to take a shorter time period to come up. I'm talking from one day to the next, from two days apart, three days apart. If you had to just do something real quick and come back out of it. Give me a check on America Airlines. It was like 1633, last we checked. I just need to know, just in case. Either way, I'm winning. I paid $10, but you know, I'm, I'm, I should still buy in at 16. I might put it on a limit. 1583. It went down. Uh -huh. I might buy a limit of 30 shares if it goes down to 13 for whatever reason. And if it doesn't... I literally already did that. <laughs> you did that? Yes. I did that. <laughs> I did the limit for like three different ones. Yeah, if it goes, like, down, it to goes 13, down that's not as bad. So I'm about to... I gotta, I gotta do that. I'm gonna do a, a limit. A limit purchase. If it goes to 13, that makes me happy because it's $3 away from my 10. And so... Boom. Yeah, I might have to do that. And if it doesn't, I lose no money. But that 15 sounds good. If, but I don't think it's going to go down to 13. But that's the beauty about it. Mm -hmm. Should it happen, I'm worth, it's worth spending that much shares. Because yeah. all I'm doing is stockpiling. Yeah. Every day I just want to stockpile shares. So I can turn around and be like, woo, it's better to leave my money in the bank. I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. People just won't understand it. All they know, oh, the stock market, you can lose, this, that. And then I ask them, tell me some more about what you know. They're out of gas. <laughs> <sighs> so, historical data. And let me say this. Past performance is not indicative of future results. I'll say it one more time. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Okay? So this means that even though I can show you what took place in the past, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen. But the analogy I like to use is if it's rain season in Miami 
and the wind is picking up, and there's clouds blocking everything, the skies are gray, it's dark when it's supposed to be two in the afternoon, the leaves are twirling on the floor like a tornado, and I'm starting to feel drizzling. And I'm starting to feel that it's drizzling. It'd be safe to, it would be wise to prepare for the storm, but it doesn't mean that the storm will actually hit. It might just be a drizzle and just look like it. Shit, even the weatherman says it's definitely going to rain. And he has all the reason to see rain because he's a meteorologist. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to rain. I got to just say these things. <laughs> but I know one thing's for sure. When I see clouds, when it's drizzling, and it's rain season, and the leaves are twirling, and stuff is flying in my eye, and it's two in the afternoon, and it's dark outside, I'm going with the idea that it's more likely going to rain, and it's probably going to rain heavy. I say that for this reason. So here's when the Spanish flu commenced January 1918 to December 1919, but watch this. Look at the market. It went up. So I do this as a teaser. Let's go to the next slide. It's just a teaser. Because now, as we do this, you'll actually see I got a record here where you see on a six month basis and a 12 month change, this is part of the standard course, the S&P index, right? You see oftentimes, one, two, three, four, five, almost double, uh, okay. Six, seven, more than double. Okay, eight. <clears throat> okay, so let's go back. Mnemonic play. The market went right up in six months. Okay, well, six months, 12 months. We see the market is going up between six and 12 months. SARS. This is what the coronavirus is patterned after, or the family member of it. Okay, the economy went up. Swine flu, the economy almost doubled. Okay? MERS, we heard of that one. The economy went up over 50%. Okay? We've seen it with Ebola. We've seen it with, uh, uh, well, they don't got the data there, but we did it with measles and rubella as well. Go to the next one. So those are the clouds. And now I'm going to take you to the drizzle. Someone sent me these, and I thought this was pretty dope. Someone sent me this. They said, hey, this is what a doctor posted in the office today. Coronavirus has a contagion factor of two. SARS was four. Measles is 18, meaning that, you know, it's easier to contract the other ones than this one. Okay, it's not, it's not that deep, according to this. And coronavirus has a cure rate of 99.7% for those under 50. It infects. Coronavirus spread is leveling off. This is a viral pneumonia being hyped as a black plague before an election. And I believe, personally, that when Trump wrote it off like it was nothing, he wrote it off like it was nothing so he can retract his statement later and say this is a pandemic so people can be mad at him so they can buy into the fact that it really is more real than he said it wasn't because it's reverse psychology. I know that sounds cool. Wait one second. A camera flipped, and I don't know how to put it back. It's okay. <laughs> so, you can always press this right here. Okay. Go ahead, give it. So, so what happens is, I believe all that, but that's not what this is about. I believe they play some reverse psychology, make the, make the guy act like he's a fool, where it's like, well, it's election season. I can get them to buy into how serious this is by not being serious about it. Then I can get thrown under the bus for not taking it serious. Then take it very serious. Save the day. In the middle of this, I'm going to give out a whole bunch of damn money. Because when Negroes don't have to work and they get some money, he's going to be called a black president. <laughs> That's just what I think. But let's separate ourselves from the politics and let's go on this side. Just focus on 2004, 2008, 2012, 2016, and 2020, and look at the cusp years, the years that have you on the cusp of the election year. And what you realize, every election, there's some kind of pandemic 
or some life-threatening disease that comes into our world just before a new administration comes in or the same ones remains in place. Just realize that, okay? Let's realize that. So that's the drizzle. So over here we talked about Royal Caribbean, which is a cruise line, and this is what I always ask people. I always want to know. So no one's able to move around on the boats. Nobody's really going on planes. If the world doesn't end, will people go back on boats? If the world doesn't end, will people go back on planes? I always ask, if the world doesn't end right now, will people go on boats? And if the world doesn't end right now, will people go back on planes? I think it's safe to surmise, yes. But right now, it's illegal for people to get on boats and cruise. So why did someone give a cruise line $2.2 billion before the quantitative ease? Before the stimulus package, which means there's going to be more money coming to these guys. Why did someone say, well, you know what? I know there ain't no money being made and you can't even use your boat operations, your ship operations. But here's just $2.2 billion just in case you might need it. Just think about it. We got to stay in tune with this information. It was at $32.66. Remember, it was $21 last Friday. However, today we should be at, uh, it was at high, it was as high as $42. Can you get a chance to pull up Royal Caribbean for me? It was at $42 today, which means you definitely made two times your money if you bought the $21 last week. We like to hear the word double quite often when we talk about flipping money, right? So your money would have doubled between Friday and today, Tuesday. And that's only because the market's not open on the weekend. So trust me, at 9.30 a.m., we up like this. <clears throat> okay, because it goes down. It's at 42.58. It's at 42.58, so it's even up. It was, it was just at $42 and some change. Now it's 42.58, Royal Caribbean. Okay? And it opened up today. We got to find out what the low was today when it started. But... I think it was in the 30s when it started today. So you're still making interest because we know that the market's going up. After the greatest day we had, today was scary. And I'm going to tell you why. Because when you come off of the greatest day, you expect this shit to recede a little bit. Mm -hmm. And after the greatest day, it's still going up. No, yo, this tells me the cure for this BS is going to be announced soon. Mm -hmm. Because they can't accept it. This, this, the hit is too crazy. Everyone probably got the shit anyway. Just hearing about the shit make you cough, and then hearing yourself cough make you think I'm sick. So they gotta reverse that shit. It's, oh, it's cured. Then you realize it's flu season. I, the flu didn't just say, yo, coronavirus is taking up all the space. I'm gonna go somewhere to another planet and fuck up some alien life. No, it's still flu season. People still get the flu in this season. And now all you hear about the coronavirus is it gives you symptoms of the common cold. Just make sure you cover your hands, I mean, cover your mouth and wash your hands. Still no advice on what to drink or what to eat. This is ridiculous. Let's go to the next slide. So Royal Caribbean got that. Well, look, Royal Caribbean's neighbors. This is out here in Miami. Royal Caribbean cruises. This was yesterday's reports. No, Norwegian Cruise Line, which is literally next door to them, they went up. Carnival, which is another cruise line, they went up. MGM Resorts, they was at eleven dollars. What's MGM at today? MGM Resorts was up. They was up. MGM Resorts went up thirty percent. So if you would invest in them, you would have made thirty percent of your money. Two points. Royal Caribbean is up thirty-one percent yesterday. Obviously more, because right now there's $36.99 that was yesterday from people that invested $21 on Friday. It's now $42.58 today. <laughs> so if you bought some Royal Caribbean, like I did yesterday still, I still bought more at a little less than $36. I think I bought it at about $34, $32 or something like that yesterday. I think I bought it when it was around here, $32.66. But as you see, later on in the day, it went up to $36.99. I was already happy because I made $4.00. That just gave me a peace of mind that at least I made $4 times the amount of shares I bought. But right now, the $4 that I made, I made $10 now on every share that I bought because it's now at $42.50 something. MGM is at $13.12. $13, MGM went up two more dollars. What you say, Zach? 
13.12. It's at 13.12. So if you went up 30%, you went up more. So I want the boats, even after the $21, like, you know what? It hurts me that I got to buy more because I knew it when it was 21. I should have put the bank on it, but I will buy that 32 and the thing still went to $42 today. I will win yet again. Yeah, and but still, because World Caribbean has a history of being as high as 130 That's right. So There's room. Now, you can't get scared now. Shit might drop, might go back up. <clears throat> this is how you call it. But when I just deal immediately with buying shares, when you when you get your money up, I don't care. If your money is only at $200 and you do it, you doing it. So when you double out, Yo, take this shit out. Maybe leave a little something there. You do it so you can see more money and help yourself out for the day. <clears throat> That's it. You're not going to be a professional with $200. You're doing it because, yo, I, I, I put $200 up. I made $360. I take the 160 out. I take another 40 to represent the two I put in. And then I take a little 50 because now I got my money back in the extra $50 and I got something there. The next day is 10 times that of the amount of money you put there. And you recoup to the point, you have all your money back that you put in, and now that money is the new money you play with. That's what you do. So when people tell you, hey, yo, you know, you should only do if you got a lot of money. No, you could put enough money in there to eventually get the money back out of there and then leave the profit there as though you never put no money there in the first place, and then you play monopoly with that money. Who gives a hell if you lose it? You made it already. You got your original money back. Play with it. Be a little dangerous. Do some slick nigga shit with it. See what happens. Because you got your money back. What are you crying about? You won. From the time you got your money back, it says that someone gave you $200. When I bought this at $32 yesterday, okay? And I buy 50 shares. That means 50 times 10 right now. I'm up 500 extra dollars when I bought 50 more shares of this. I bought it twice yesterday. So if I bought 50 shares of this, I'm up $500. I can look at my chart and it tells me my gains and losses. I'm in the plus. I'm in the money, as they say. So now that I made $500 off of investing 320, just, you know, 300, let's say 330, we just round it up. I made $500 after investing $330. Oh, pardon me, not $330. Every 10 shares is $330. So after I bought all the, them 50 shares, just multiply by 50, and I made 500 from it, yo, that $500 now is the money that can be used for playing with. That's the play money. Cause that money to me never exists. I'm only, I'm only concerned with the principle. The money I put in to start the conversation is what I'm interested in. Give me that money back. And once I recoup all the extra money I get, yo, keep that revolving. Now I'm going to roll the dice. That's why I'm explaining to people, don't be afraid to use the returns aggressively on things you feel. Build yourself up. Take your principal back. Now you got all the money you went in the game with. Play with the returns because you're back to the level. If you need a little money, you take a little out. But you let the returns go there. Now, if you lose the whole return, what are you crying about? It was a good run. It was fun. But you know what? I made money I ain't even had when I started this shit. What am I mad about? You see, people want to, oh, you lost. Your Yo, what are you mad about? If you bought 10 of these yesterday. If you bought 10 of these yesterday, you made a $10 profit 10 times. You made, 200, you made $100. If you bought 10 of those yesterday, you made $100. <laughs> if, if you bought, if you spent $330 yesterday, and it goes up $10, you made 10 times 10. Your $330 made you an extra $100. If that's how you're feeling, you can take your whole, you can cash out, take your $330 out technically, and leave the $100 that you made and play with that from now on and be aggressive. That's it. Now, you can, it could go to zero. What did you lose? Absolutely nothing. How can someone tell you you lost money you didn't have? That's the logic behind the way I do my investing. I make my money, I take my principal out, 
I leave what I got in return, I play with that aggressively. How the hell can I lose what I didn't have? I got the same amount of money I came into this game with at my disposal. And I'm playing with someone else's money, technically. Because the money never leaves the market. It just circulates. That's why it's called currency. You got to figure this shit out. We be going in there playing double dutch scared. You know, girls when they get ready to jump in the rope, that's how we be acting. Like, like it's going to hurt us somehow. Yeah, just chill. You'll have your day and you have your days. Go in with the right logic and the right mentality so you can be the, the type of aggressive you need to be. That's how you got to treat money you don't expect to have. Be aggressive and logical. Don't fuck with all that emotion behind the money. That's, that's stuff that they inbred you with so you don't come up. Deal with the logic behind it. Deal with the history. Deal with the patterns. Deal with common sense. You know why all these cruise lines, hotels, and airlines all are going up? Because once they know, oh, somebody knows something, somebody knows something. You're supposed to say, somebody knows something, I'm not privy to the conversation, but I'm a hell of an interpreter. I'm a hell of an interpreter. And what I know is American Airlines is used to drop off the people at the hotels so they could on the next day go out on their cruise. So it's no wonder that the hotel industry, the airline industry, and the ship industry all are up. You gotta be able to tell the story because no one's talking to you. You gotta find a way to eavesdrop by reading and seeing things change. Southwest is at $40.58. Southwest is at 40 dollars did they gain or are they lost? I know they, it's a loss, but are they up today? <clears throat> you said at what price? Say it again. $40. Forty dollars. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. It's pretty expensive. I wonder where it was at the other day. But you see, I like American Airlines because they don't just ship people; they ship goods. They ship cargo, and they're America's trusted. So if anybody else is going to tank, the mother airlines is going to tank, not America, because they got different types of contracts. But you see, this is the type of research you do. You, you got to be in tune with what's going on. T-Mobile owns Metro PCS, but Metro PCS still acting on their own. And T-Mobile, and they find out you're a Metro PCS customer, look, uh, you can keep the same number. You can cancel that whole thing you got going on with them. Buy the fuss. Because they're taking them over. T-Mobile is also going to own Sprint. People buying shares in Sprint. Or do you want to buy shares in the company that's going to buy Sprint? Right. And then T-Mobile's ushering in the 5G madness. So you got to really consider <laughs> what this all means and represents. You got to really be thinking. This shit is about thinking. Yeah, it's funny. Sprint is at 831, but don't fall for it if you have What's, the knowledge. <clears throat> yeah, What's Sprint is at 841, but they're going to get bought out by T-Mobile. So when you got that kind of inside information from going there to buy a new Samsung 20 Plus. <laughs> right. Oh, where are they buying out? Yeah, so you know that. Oh, so, and people are still investing in Sprint? Okay. Unless there's something going on that I don't know about. Now what you could do, uh-oh, maybe you might want to buy a op uh, put option into their stock going down. Because we know they're already out of business. Yeah, you, do that. <laughs> you feel me? This is what I'm saying. This don't belong out here like that. We don't want no, no other races intercepting the, the black money right now. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. That's, yo, when you look at the stock market, if they would have taught this in school, it would have made you such a thinker. It's like playing chess off the board. Dead ass. One cause and effect comes into play, and you start realizing, oh, man, I got several different options, and what are we back Back in school, you learned permutations if you had a green tie, blue tie, pink tie, orange tie, and if you had leather pants, suede pants, and plaid pants, and if you only had uh, shoes, sneakers, and uh, wallabies, how many different combinations can you create out of those outfits? And that was called permutations. Well, with the stock market, you got several options. That's why they call it a portfolio. You could do any of a number of things. You can say, I roll the dice on them losing. I roll the dice on them winning. But these dice are trick dice. Because sometimes you have so much information, you have the same number three or four times on the same dice where 
It can roll out of your favor, but it's a high probability it's going to roll in your favor. See, so I don't call it gambling. Because when you learn about leap options, when you learn about dividends, when you learn about ETFs, you start saying, look, I've got so many different options. And that's not even them all. These are the ones I like. You say, oh, okay, I got it. Yo, Polite always teaches about every damn thing. You don't know everything. Keep thinking that. I learn everything I need to know to survive on planet Earth. It's about mastering this planet. If it's of interest of me and it can advance my community, I'm with it. So that's just a way to look at it. That's all I'm saying. I'm not telling you to do anything. I'm just saying when you have the option to, to bank on someone going lower and the option to bank on someone going higher, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to spend my personal money on sprints, stop going lower. Especially during this time, especially understanding T-Mobile's en route to owning them. But we gotta find out what the relationship is gonna be. Is it gonna be like a Metro PCS, where Metro PCS is still acting of its own free will and accord, even though T-Mobile owns them? But T-Mobile's looking to crash them out. Is T-Mobile looking to crash spread out or make them play a role like Metro PCS did? But we know Metro's out of here. So maybe we want to roll the dice on a Metro. Put option. So, so we got things to think about tonight. T-Mobile opened at $77. Mm -hmm. And it had hit a high of $85. T-Mobile opened at $77 and hit a high of $85 yep. today? Today. I'm Almost a $10 today. hike? Yep. Today's high. The lowest today was $77.76. We might need to play games with T-Mobile soon. You, we already got the inside scoop. <laughs> Come we, on. But, but you know what? The question is, do we play with T-Mobile or do we play with the, the, the competitors that T-Mobile's knocking out? Where, where's the money at? Is it in, is it in T-Mobile's come up or is it in Sprint and Metro's go down? Maybe both. Yep. Yeah. And maybe it depends I on mean, how, that's, much, that's nuts how we, much money you have to work with. That's nuts if we roll it out and play with everybody and we, we, we get options. We get uh, call, either way, call options for Metro and uh, for Sprint and call options for T-Mobile. And then we project that this would be what it needs to be. And, well, if we do, the closer we are, the more money it costs. But I, we want to play with it closer. With with the I I play with, like I play with the put options closer with the ones that's going to be out, and for the for the call longer, options for higher I'll do that longer with T-Mobile. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But you know that's what this that's what this is. This is actually a very good class because this is coming out the way I wanted it to come out. This is a good build. This is a very good build. Next time what we need to do is just while I'm building be on the internet and just call them out as we boom 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 boom. boom. <laughs> you feel me? But go to the next slide. We almost done. We'll move forward. What's, what's the time to? It's two minutes to three. Two minutes to three. Okay, I got to. Enough for the hours. Yeah, I'm going to wrap this thing up because I want to mm -hmm. find out what time when United closes in South Beach. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I need the slides. I'm going to let you know when to stop. I need them. Keep going. Okay, and that's American Airlines at 1473 yesterday. It went as high as $17 today. I think it's at 16 and change right now. But go, go ahead. This was the receipt that I had, but those of you that signed up to IamBrotherPolite.app, you pay for that $100 class, you get access to this. You sign up for free, you get access to this information. This is to show you yeah. things that I've been saying money to. Because you can't You're not going to see this here, unfortunately. Yeah. That it just happened that way, but it doesn't matter. You sign up to the app, you'll get the receipts of things that I've been buying and purchasing. You know, and that's what it is. And I got a whole chronology of historical record of what I've been doing. This ain't something I just started really getting into. That's why I wrote stocks and blocks and pennies off of millions. We talking about getting a bag, and like I said yesterday, if you ain't got bags under your eyes, I don't know what bag you're getting. But right now, you should spend your time studying because when you come out for air and they start the, the work industry again, you don't want to really find out, damn, I had opportunity in front of me. Get your credit restoration right away. Yes, it's $3,000. Or at the very least, you buy your $250 course and you learn. Right. These are the things that you can do personally to help your situation out. 
But you get the CRM, the credit restoration microwave. Yes, it's 3000 but we remove all your debt and then we put you in position so you can get larger sums of money through credit, whether it's credit cards, personal loans, or business loans. Once you're in that space, while in this type of market, because we got some time. The, the real good stuff is happening now. There's going to be other real great opportunities that's going to keep coming in and out. Where you say, yo, I'm putting it in today, and when you see a double up, I don't even know if I want to wait. <laughs> Let me cash out. I'm feeling good. You know, you got, you got a certain amount of line of credit, you'll be safe. Because even in this, when you set it up the way that I talk about, like I said, I got options that I'm putting out there that's going to be very cheap. But the ones that click is going to make me a quarter of a million. Hopefully all of them click or most of them click. But if one of them click, all the ones that did it where they keep my money, I still made 250 grand. I'm not spending 250 grand. I'm not even spending, well, I'm throwing some thousands out there because I'm looking to, I'm going to be the first black billionaire, but anyway. <laughs> you know, but you don't have to spend thousands. You could put a hundred or two, three, four hundred dollars together, and you could come out with some tens of thousands. And in some instances, six figures, just for the right type of call options, depending on how much shares they allow you to have in one contract. Each option is a contract. You could pay a penny or a few cents for a hundred shares to, with the promise that, you know what, if down the line the market does for this company like you think it will, we'll give you this time to get out of shares this option contract is worth. It's real talk. It, it's pennies. Pennies are familiar, as I'm telling you. Let's not play. So if you have fidelity or not, and we'll do a clear one, all right? But you'll go here, accounts and trade. All you have to do is when you go to the site, you'll see it. This is on the desktop. It looks a little different on the app. So if you use your phone, go to the website instead of the app the first time around. I actually like the website better than the app. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's navigation is better, it's and there's some things. features that's just better. But you know what? The app is better on my iPad. I can see. I don't. I don't like the app on my phone more than I like just going straight to the website, which is annoying because you know the app is supposed to give you the vibe. Right. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, go to account and trade. Click. We're gonna finish this up, and then once you click that, you're gonna go to trade right here when the drop box goes down. Then boom. And then here's going to give you your account information. When you type in the ticker symbol or the stock symbol, ticker symbol and stock symbol is the same thing. See that? Right where the green is at. That's your ticker symbol. This is RCL. This is Royal Caribbean. That's what this is, Royal Caribbean. So that's their ticker symbol or that's their stock symbol. That's what symbol means. If you have a problem, well, just don't worry. Just go to the next one. If you go backwards, that's going to happen. Oh. <laughs> John was doing the same thing. Uh, and fire runs, he went back into time. Don't worry, people. And I, I be loading my stuff up, so you're really going to have to go through a lot. So don't go backwards. So, okay, boom. Because it's important that they get the order. Okay. Go ahead. So you click trade on the Dropbox. For this one, I'll just let you know for sure. You get their account information, which I blocked out. Your account information, which I blocked out. Because you know Nick Rose is always doing something spooky <laughs> for no reason. So here we are at the symbol. And if you don't know what the symbol is, you can click here. It says find symbol. Then another box will come up. Don't, don't turn it. I ain't screenshot that one. Another box will come up. Don't go to the one on the left. Click the option on the middle. There'll be three different options. You're going to look for symbol again. When you click it, find symbol, you're going to type in the name of the company. If that company is not owned by another company, the symbol will come up. If the symbol doesn't come up and you check the spelling of that company and nothing comes up, then that means that that company is owned by somebody else. You might need to go on Google and just type in ticker symbol for that company and then you'll start finding the information. Okay, that's, a, that's one way to go about doing it. You're gonna click here where it says action and you're gonna select. Okay, uh, go ahead. Uh, you're gonna put buy. So when you actually, what the action is gonna be, you're gonna put buy. Then they're gonna wanna know the quantity, you're gonna put the amount that you want right here. So quantity is right here, action to buy is right here. That's this drop box. Okay, and then they're gonna ask you what type of order. It can be a market order, whatever the price is of that stock. Idealistically, whatever, whatever that is. But by the time they execute the trade, when they execute the trade on that stock, it, whatever price the execution takes place at, because sometimes it's going up or it's going down. 
that is the price you'll get it for. But idealistically, it'll be about what you see it for the market value right there that, and then. However, you can get a limit trade, which I like, but we'll go over different types. A limit trade is saying, hey, if and only if it goes this low, I'm willing to buy. But if it doesn't go this low, then don't execute the trade. Keep the money in my account. So the system will do it for you. And that's cool because sometimes I may not really be in a shopping mood. I'm not feeling the market. I feel like the market ain't really treating me right. So I'm just chilling. But if for whatever reason, something that's like 20 something dollars should just happen to go for 13, sometimes I write some BS there. And in this kind of market, BS might make you a lot of money. <laughs> so what I'll do is say, I don't wanna buy two stocks only because of the budget that I'm working with. But if it goes down here, I'll buy 15. And so I like that option. So I'll put a limit option. And now, if you know you're busy during the day, you still have eyes on it in the form of the system waiting to execute. Okay? So you ain't, if it, I know I gotta do class. And I ain't going to always have y'all buying stock and shares and all sorts of stuff while I'm teaching like y'all doing that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're supposed to be listening to the class and helping me out. And I got to wait because they over there executing <laughs> trades. <laughs> right? So, these women are wild. Right? So, what happens is I like the fact that if I got to take a drive, I don't want to constantly be looking like this. You know, and I got people that I, that I mentor. In the, in the sports, music, entertainment industry, my phone is always getting hit because people like, look, polite be on the money. They're like, oh, it's research. Clearly, I can research because you see me research other things. So all I did was take what I know how to do from doing those debates and I put it into the money. I took the gift that was refined from debating and I put it in the money. Let's go ahead. There she go. Sorry. Nah, you good. She'll catch her. She's always interrupting. She's probably doing this and dad. I was doing class and all I heard was. I said, that's not alkaline. Plots. More plots. Yes. I said, that's not alkaline. Where we at? So, uh, market order. Okay, in the day. Boom. I got one over that. That's good. And again, you'll get the PowerPoint when you sign up for free on IamBrotherPolite.app. But don't cheat yourself and not buy the course for $99 because I'm not only going to be teaching, the brokers that taught me, and when I say the brokers that taught me, I'm talking about history. I'm talking about people that work with the guy who created options. That's insane. The family of the family member of the guy who created the options. So I got this on a whole nother level. Okay, and then, you know, I let my mind do what it do. And it's crazy, but I'm bringing the best guys in real estate that I learned from and that I learned stocks uh, about the stock market from. And then, you know, I mean, even they said, yo, you empower me because I read so much and I study so much. Every time I talk to them, yo, what the hell? When did you learn that? I'm like, yo, I, don't, I sleep every other day. I'm literally up over 24 hours straight like this. I'm addicted. It's my video game. I be in a corner right there on that, show me that couch right there. I be right here, fact or fiction, I'm in that. I be right here on that couch. It be dark as hell. People come down here scared. Like, yo, what the hell? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I be right there like this, just working, right in that damn corner. People come downstairs, like, yo, it's something shadowy right over there. And it be me. <laughs> You, you feel me? So, the Royal Caribbean is right here. I bought 15 shares in this particular instance yesterday, which clearly I made $10 a share on this one right here. And this is my daughter's account. Um, and the conditions, they're none. The trade type is considered cash, and I spent $567.90 on this one. From buying throughout the day, different sites. And then on the next one, which you'll see, the new window comes up, and it gives you a confirmation number, which I have blocked out. And then boom, you have this, okay? So let's go to the next slide. So you have pennies off of millionaires and houses are the new credit cards. This book is revised. It's nuts. But what do you think I got the idea of pennies off of millionaires? And I wrote this book probably four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. So what I'm telling you is this is not no overnight information. And I wrote stocks and blogs. Yep. 
the road to economic sovereignty. Okay, stocks and bonds and pennies off of millionaires, houses on the new credit cards. I've been on this a long time ago. Okay, and the credit information is in there. So now watch this. We talked about call options and put options and option contracts and give you the right to own 100 shares. We theoretically went over this. Okay, so we went over that theoretical account of uh, one penny option contract giving us the right to own 100 shares and buying 100 of those option contracts to own the rights to 10,000 shares. And then if we go, if we hit the strike price right there, that was some timing. We hit the strike price, right? Before you hit the strike price, it's called being out the money. And then when you are at the dollar amount that you put the bid on, like you might have a bid for, you might have a, a March 20 bid, boom. So March 20 come, uh, if, you're, if you're equal to the amount of money that you bid, that if the market would be on, that's called the strike price. Now anything that goes over it, that's that money times 10,000 each time over. And again, the, you buy a leap option, it costs little to no money because you're bidding on something that don't even exist yet. The closer you are to the present, the option costs more, but it still gives you many shares. You still can win, and you win in real time. Like if we would have bought an option Friday for Monday or even today, no one would really say it's going to double. I don't give a damn what no one said. I wouldn't know it's going to double. But you get points for how much is over, and that same money times whatever amount of shares you bought the right to own for the future. You feel what I'm saying? And so that's amazing. And that's why a lot of people became millionaires from Friday to Monday and even today. A lot of people became millionaires. You feel what I'm saying? Because they bought options. You know, they, they, they made the call. <laughs> and it worked out. So, and you're always going to feel it when you don't do what you know you're supposed to do or in the capacity in which you're supposed to do. First, the first, it's just annoying. You think about it the whole day until you get your day in. And let me explain something to you. If you was taught this in school during the mortgage crisis, if you was taught this in school when, when they bailed out the banks, if we really paid attention during that era when no older person was like, yo, you need to learn about this. We was just, all oh, the criminals, bail out the people, not the banks, bail out the people, not the banks. We didn't know what the hell was being talked about. Some of those people didn't know themselves, probably most of them. But what I'm explaining to you is this. Since that day, there has been people waiting for today. So when they heard the coronavirus hit, you have some people that understood because of the history that I show you, whenever there's a pandemic, there's a lot of money to be made. You got some people that truly understand that whenever there's a global crisis, the first thing they think is money. They're not thinking toilet paper. They're not thinking disinfectant, and I mean this for real. People understand what it means the second they hear it. The economy is gonna be impacted. So what do you think people did when they heard the coronavirus might hit America? Some people bought put options to short? a whole bunch of companies knowing they would crash the economy or would cause a decline. Mm -hmm. People would be afraid to travel. So imagine if you had this knowledge ahead of time, you would have called put options for all these companies and you would have made your money. Then when you start hearing about a stimulus package in the QE, you say, now call options. And if you know how to read the economy like this, you won two, three times already. While people over here unemployed waiting for a thousand dollar check, hopefully that meets them. <laughs> Think about the logic when it was said that China has this, this, this flu-like thing, this coronavirus. Think about the logic when it started coming here and still Trump said don't take it serious, it's not that deep. And everyone was in speculation about if it was good or not, the economy wasn't affected yet. Think about if you just had enough of this knowledge, you would have had put options in, say, oh, and you kind of would have been like this. Hopefully this shit is as bad as we think it is. I don't give a damn if that woman I created. I don't care if it's fake, but uh, hopefully everyone takes it serious. And I'm gonna put some put options out there, because no matter what, just the speculation itself, just 
Just the rumors. What did I say early on? Buy into the rumors, sell on the news. When you heard rumors, you should have been buying those put options. Everything's going to tank. By the time the news gets it, time to sell. The news is all over this shit now. SARS, it's just like SARS, it's all over. Buy your tissue, buy your please stay in your house. Uh, see, by the time the news gets it, you know, oh, the economy's about to go back. Buy on the rumors, sell on the news. You're going to learn a lot from that course, man. It's I Am Brother Polite Dot app. I made it lower than I ever made any course. I take a certain level of pride and respect in what I do, so that's why I'll be charging that. Let's close out because I don't want out to miss the bank. <laughs> Peace to y'all. I Am Brother Polite Dot app. Make sure you purchase. Peace. I'm kind of Go ahead. Oh, my bad. Peace.